This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. Very much, uh, ministers, uh, brother Ken, brother Vern. Um, Twenty years ago today, I was a, uh, a new MLA in Nova Scotia. Um, I uh, was the labor critic. I went uh, went into the legislature as a trade union activist and have been working on uh, uh, the problems of workplace uh, health and safety for 25 years now. Um, and uh, and I can't forget certainly the uh, the events uh, surrounding uh, this tragedy. Uh, it wasn't very many days after the explosion that I had the opportunity to be on several occasions in um, in uh, Pictou County, a meeting with Vern and his colleagues and. Uh, meeting with families, um, and uh, the uh, the depth of the tragedy, uh, the effect it had on that community, um, uh, you'll see you'll see um, you'll see uh, this year uh, as the at the memorial, the 20th uh, anniversary, as people uh, people can't forget uh, tragedies like these, and it's important that we not forget tragedies like these. Uh, I remember wading through the the paperwork, uh, the stop work orders, uh, the information that came uh, from the Department of Labor, uh, the fact that uh, that that was evidence of the fact that not enough had been done. Clearly, not enough had been done uh, to make that workplace uh, safe. Uh, and the result uh, we know today is the uh, the sad uh, loss of of 26 uh, lives, 26 minors, 26 fathers, brothers, uncles, um, uh, people that, uh, whose memory we need to, uh, we need to keep, uh, we need to keep close. There's so much that we need to do. Uh, and on behalf of the official opposition, I commit myself and commit our party, uh, to making sure that, uh, we do everything we can, uh, to make the law stronger, uh, to make sure that, uh, that not a worker has to go to work and sacrifice their health, sacrifice their life. Uh, just for a job.